Welcome to the first lesson in navigation for the uh, OUPV or Master 100 ton. My name is Captain Amy Coppage and I'm from Chesapeake Marine Training Institute. And the first thing that we're going to go over today is time. Now time seems kind of obvious, but <clears throat> when you're working with time for navigation, there's a few things that you have to be concerned with. First, we're going to use a 24 hour clock. Some of you may know that as military time. Essentially, we have our standard 12 hour face clock that we're all pretty familiar with. And what we're going to do for navigation <coughs> is we're going to go ahead and use the 24 hour clock, which means after you go past 12 noon, everything that falls after that, we're going to add 12 to it. So if it was 1 o'clock, we would do 12 plus 1 gives us 13. So this would be 1300, 1400, 1500, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then 2400 is not really a time, but sometimes we can use that for math. It's also equal to 0000, zero, zero, zero of the next day. So we're going to use a 24 hour clock mostly because it works out best for the math and it allows us to do time problems without doing a lot of uh, extra calculations. Now, when we talk about time, a lot of times in the math problems you'll see some acronyms. And the first acronym is ETA, which is Estimated Time of Arrival. And you'll see ETD, which is Estimated Time of Departure. Those two acronyms are used and they'll ask questions like what is your ETA from point one to point two? So we want to make sure we understand those acronyms. Now, uh, for example, we may say that we departed the pier at 0800 and we arrived, our ETA was 0930. Okay? So our arrival time is 0930. Now when we do math using time, we're going to put the arrival time on top. Okay? Arrival time when you have a departure and an arrival will go on top. So when we do math, we always separate the hours and the minutes. So we'll put the hours to the left and the minutes to the right. And then I'll put our departure time underneath that, 0800. And we like to use what's called a time T. We put a time T in there to separate the hours and the minutes. Okay? Now this is a pretty basic problem, so uh, use your calculator if you need to. Uh, so we're going to take 30 and subtract 0, which is going to give us 30. And then 9 minus 8 gives us 1. So it took 1 hour and 30 minutes to proceed from the pier to the arrival point, wherever that was. Okay, Pretty basic problem. The thing to remember is keep your hours over here, your minutes over here, leave a little space in between them, keep it nice and neat and lined up properly. Okay, Let's do another problem. Okay, so let's say that we departed a point at 11.04 and we arrived at that point at 13.15 someplace further down our track. So we're going to separate the hours and the minutes. We're going to put in our time T. Okay, Just reminding you this is hours and this is minutes. Remember there's 24 hours in a day there are 60 minutes per hour. Okay. So, when we do the math here, we always start with the minutes. We're going to take 5 minus 4, which gives us 1. 1 minus 0 gives us 1. Come over here to the hour column. 
3 minus 1 gives us 2, and 1 and 1 cancels. So it took us 2 hours and 11 minutes to travel from point 1 to point 2. Okay? Now there are times when we need to borrow because we don't have enough minutes to do the problem. So let's say that we departed at 1435 and we arrived at 1513. Now in this problem, we do not have enough minutes to take away 35 from that. So what we're going to have to do is borrow. So when we borrow from the hour column, we're going to cross it out and we're going to put 14. Now what's given to the minutes is plus 60 minutes. Okay, so some people like to add these together. Some people just like to make this a 7. That's fine, 6 plus 1 is 7. Whatever your method is, the point of what you're going to get here is the sum before you do the math here. So 60 plus 13 is going to give us 73. So I'm going to write that just like that. So I'm going to go 73. Now we can do the math. Put your calculator to work and type in 73 minus 35 and that's going to give us 38 minutes. Okay. When we look over here we have 14 and 14. That's going to cancel out so we have no hours. So it took 38 minutes to travel from point 1 to point 2. Okay. Now let's say that we need to uh, calculate what time we're going to arrive somewhere. So let's say our departure time is 0800. Okay, so our estimated time of departure is 0800. And we're going to be underway, underway for 2 hours and 16 minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make that two digits just to keep it consistent. We're going to put in our time t. Okay. Now because we got underway at a certain time and we were underway for a certain amount of time, we're going to add that. And that's going to be the time that we arrive. So in this case, 16 plus 0 is 16. 8 plus 2 is 10. We will arrive, our ETA is 1016 in the morning. Okay. Now let's do a problem where it takes us past midnight. Because midnight creates another math issue. Okay. So let's say that we got underway at 22.30 at night. And we were underway for 4 hours and 15 minutes put our time t in. So this was our ETD and this was our underway time and we're going to start over on the minutes. Okay, 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4. Use your calculator if you need to. And then over on the hours we have 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 plus 0 is 2. Now obviously we know there's no such time as 2645. So what we've done is we've gone past midnight on that clock face. So in order to get rid of too many hours over here in the hour column, we're going to subtract 24. When we subtract 24, it would become the next day. We would add that into the next day. We're not going to worry too much about dates at this problem. But we're going to just focus on making this a correct time. So we're going to take away 24 hours. So 45 is still 45. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So in actuality, we got underway at 22.30 at night. We were underway for 4 hours and 15 minutes. We arrived, our ETA, our estimated time of arrival, is 02.45 in the morning. Okay? Now, let's do a problem where we're subtracting time, and we have to work around midnight. So let's say <clears throat> our arrival time was 0 to 30 in the morning. Okay, our ETA was 0 to 30 in the morning. And we were underway for 3 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, that was our underway time. 
What time did we leave? Okay, put in your time T. 30 minus 15 is going to give us 15 in our calculator. And then we can't take away 3 from 2. So what we're going to have to do is borrow a day. When we borrow a day, we're going to do plus 24 because there's 24 hours in a day, which is going to make this 26. Once we have enough numbers up here to do the math, go ahead and do the math. 6 minus 3 is 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. So we got underway at 2315 at night, so just before midnight. We were underway for 3 hours and 15 minutes. That means that we arrived at 0230 in the morning. These problems are very similar to things you do in real life that have nothing to do with navigation, but you have to be very careful with how you line the numbers up, use the time T, and make sure you keep everything organized and use a calculator that's going to help you make sure that you get the math done correctly. The next video that we're going to do is talking about how to change time into a decimal and from a decimal back into minutes and hours to be used in a D Street problem.